Tonight, I was minding my own business playing some Xenoblade Chronicles 2 when Nintendo decided, hey, we're gonna surprise the pants off of everyone. Let's talk about that. <laughs> Tonight I was just sat minding my own business playing some Xenoblade when I heard the Game Awards were on. And I, initially I was like, it is fine, I'll figure out who won later. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Zeldies, but we'll see. And then little did I know, little did I expect they were gonna drop some big news. In fact, some really big news. News that I thought wasn't even gonna be announced until January in the Direct. And even more on top of that, which has me thinking, what is going to be announced in the Direct? If this is what they've announced now, which is half of what I thought the entire Direct was going to be about, what are we going to see in January? But let's put a pin in that and talk about the Game Awards tonight. They announced a brand new exclusive for the Switch. They announced some DLC for Zelda, which is being released tonight. So by the time you've seen this, it's already up. And I want to talk about the Game Awards just for a little bit. The game that won Game of the Year, which as we all know, is... Zeldies, but then some surprising winners for some other categories that I'm really excited about and really happy about. Let's start with the second most exciting news, which is the Breath of the Wild DLC, The Champion's Ballad, is releasing tonight. In fact, as I'm recording this, I have it downloading on my Switch just behind the camera. Now, for those that don't know, it's a continuation of the story. The first DLC that came out had a bunch of extra things in it, but there was no actual story. This continues the story right where we left off in the game initially, as well as adding a bunch of extra gameplay and armor and things like that, and a motorbike, which is the coolest thing that I didn't expect. Nintendo is just lost, they've lost their minds. I swear, they have, they have, they're drunk on power right now. The things that we're getting from the Switch are things that are just fueled by my pure dreams. My dreams for five straight years when I had a Wii U, everything I ever wanted, just the craziest things I could think of are happening again and again on the Switch. A new Metroid is something I never thought I would get. A main console Pokemon game is something that I've been asking for forever. It's just everything that I've ever thought, Nintendo, you could make so much money if you did this. They've decided, oh, we'll do it with the Switch. And then they've just gone, well, and we'll do things that you could never even expect. Like we'll put a motorbike in the Breath of the Wild Zelda game. And I talked about this on my podcast, but the crazy thing is in January, there's supposed to be Nintendo Direct. They booked a slot for it. Everyone thought that was gonna focus around the DLC, which we didn't expect to even hear anything about here a release date for until January. And now we've got it tonight, which makes me wonder, what are they gonna talk about in that January Direct? And you would think, well, maybe they have some surprises in store, like new IPs or a new game. Well, we got that tonight as well. We got a Bayonetta announcement. Bayonetta 3 is coming to the Switch. It's gonna be a Switch exclusive like the second game was, and the first and second game are coming to the Switch. You're gonna have a physical Bayonetta 2 card, and when you buy that and put it in your Switch, you can download the first game and have it on the Switch. I would prefer both to be on one card, but I'm just happy that we're getting something physical of the first two games, and we have a brand new Bayonetta announced, which is awesome. I am so glad they're continuing that. I thought that was such a wonderful, amazing idea for Wii U. I made a few videos about that back when that was announced. So the fact that we're getting this third one is awesome news. I couldn't be more excited about that. I love Devil May Cry. I love Bayonetta. I love games like this. And I, the, Bayonetta is such a fantastic series. And if you haven't played one, you now have the chance of playing all three games next year, which is insane. But again, if there's a Direct in January and they just announced the main thing everyone thought was going to be the Direct's focus, the Zelda DLC, and they announced a new Bayonetta 3, what is coming in that Direct is what I'm really excited for right now to find out what, is that gonna be Metroid focused? Is that gonna be Pokemon focused? And that this means going into next year, we're gonna have a new Bayonetta game, a new Metroid game, and a new Pokemon game all in development throughout 2018. I, I can't tell you, how, the Switch has no games. The Switch is gonna fail. The Switch is not going to succeed. It has no games and it's not worth buying. Let me pull up a few games the Switch has. All of these games are not only incredible, but this just won Game of the Year, and this was in the running to win Game of the Year. Two, two out of the five games nominated for Game of the Year this year are games that were on the Nintendo Switch in its first year. In its first, I think, nine months, these two games came out, and they were both nominated for Game of the Year. <laughs> A Switch is gonna fail. It's not gonna have any good games. You're not, there's no point buying one. That's everyone 
talking about the Switch leading up to the Switch, by the way, if you didn't catch on to that. It is sad for everyone that preferred Mario Odyssey that Zelda won. That might be a bit of taste to a lot of people. Both of these games are incredible, and I would have been happy if either of them won, but I definitely agree. Obviously, if you follow this channel, you know why I agree, and you will be not surprised that I am very happy that this won. Something that surprised me, happily surprised, is Mario and Rabbids, another exclusive, won best strategy game, which again has to be kind of salty to, uh, for the XCOM people. XCOM 2 was in that bracket to win uh, strategy of the year. If you haven't played this, it very heavily borrowed mechanics from XCOM and sort of changed it up and put it in a Mario and Rabbids skin. So that's got to be a little salty for them, but this game was incredible. I loved this game. If we're keeping track right now, again, two of the games were nominated for best game of the year and another one won a different category for game of the year and that's strategy game of the year. And then I'm holding this little bad boy just because I'm playing it, but if you haven't played this yet, I'm having a lot of fun with it. A couple other awards I was really happy about was best art direction went to Cuphead. I really love the art in that game. I'm so glad it got recognition for that. Also, it got best uh, ind independent developer, I'm pretty sure, of the year. Congrats to Cuphead. I'm really happy about that. Nier Automata got best music score which again I'm really happy about I would have loved for that to have gone to Mario Odyssey because Mario Odyssey had amazing music plus I would just love Mario Odyssey to have won something because it was such a fantastic game correction Mario Odyssey actually won best family game so it did take something home but I'm really happy about that I had a chuckle that there was a category for best handheld game I mean it makes sense but Obviously, Nintendo is going to take that one home, and all five of the selections for that were Nintendo games, obviously. We had Ever Oasis, Fire Emblem Echoes, Metroid Samus Returns, Monster Hunter, and Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World. And Metroid took that one home. In my opinion, that was the clear winner out of those ones. I love all of those games, but that was definitely the clear winner. Best RPG went to Persona 5, which is awesome, because I, I was so happy to see Persona 5 in the top five. I love that game. I was happy to see it in the running to win game of the year, but I was upset because I knew it wasn't going to so I'm really happy to see that it won best RPG and then Breath of the Wild also won best action adventure game now these awards you can take them or leave them you can decide for yourself whether or not they mean anything or if they're just arbitrary said that weird and I'll be honest I have never been I've never cared about the game of the year award the last time I really cared about a game of the year award was when uh, Walking Dead won it I've been following Telltale for the longest time so not only was I super happy to see them getting the recognition for a game they deserve. But it was around the time when it felt like everything was just going action, action, action. Streamlined for the average consumer, you had to have a guy with a gun on the front cover if you wanted to sell it. It had to be all action-y, it had to be guns and shooty. And you used to have multiplayer, so people keep playing it with a bunch of microtransactions. No, it doesn't need to be that. And that game really proved that. It proved that a game like that can still get game of the year. A game like that can still sell millions. A game that was just single player with heavy story-based gameplay. And it was such a fun game. Again, I've said it before, for, but that was the only game that ever made me cry. So that was the last time I cared about Game of the Year awards and the reason why I care this time is because because there's been so much negativity it's getting better and better but there was so much negativity before the Switch came out that it wasn't going to do well and I mean the Wii U did not get this recognition and I mean in many many ways it didn't deserve it. I mean it deserved better than what it got but Nintendo wasn't making the same decisions they are now. They weren't doing the same things they are now. They have a much better mindset now. They're putting a lot of work into what they're doing a lot of quality into what they're doing and it's showing how many awards did the switch just win and this is a console that came out less than a year ago so i don't know it's an exciting day i wanted to make a video about it there's a few other things that i want to mention real quick these aren't nintendo related but the three other announcements that i was really excited for personally was the new soul caliber coming out i've loved those games for the longest time uh, i heard that was going to be on switch and right now it doesn't look like it's going to be which is a shame but either way i'll pick it up on playstation 4 i'll play it and have a lot of fun with it so i'm excited for that death stranding we had another huge trailer for it's a shame we still haven't seen any gameplay of this game but any hype based around that game has got me hooked i am just excited and ready for that game to come out and I'm gonna give it a shot no matter what. I'm really excited for that. Again, wish there was gameplay, but what you gonna do? And then finally, there was a new virtual reality game. And again, I've been playing VR a little bit and the other, one of the games I really enjoy was Job Simulator and there's a new Vacation Simulator coming out. Made by the same people and it's very, it's the same game. It's pretty much a sequel game, but instead of doing like odd jobs, 
you're on vacation. I'm actually excited for that because Job Simulator is probably up there with Doom for the most fun I've had in VR. And Doom was action shooty fun, but that Job Simulator was just hilarious, throwing stuff around and putting you in everyday situations where you can just have a lot of fun. So I look forward to all three of those. You have to agree with me. You don't have to, you don't have to do anything. You could stop watching right now if you want. It's a free world, it's a free country. You kind of have to agree <laughs> that Nintendo Switch dominated Game Awards. I mean, they blew me away. I, I was really excited by this entire thing. I'm happy the Switch is getting the recognition it deserves. And it's a shame that it has no games and that it's gonna fail. But what do you guys think? Let me know down below what you thought of the Game Awards, if you thought anything was undeserving or if you're just as excited for all of it as I am. Let me know what other things you heard about that you're excited for that I didn't talk about. Start a conversation down below. I'd love to hear from all of you. Remember to hit that like button. Be subscribed because we've become best friends. I love all of you so much. And I'm going to go finish downloading that DLC Breath of the Wild, get my motorbike, and ride off into the sunset. 